Flight test number three now live inside a program to be expanded to the entirety of the MCC. Matchmaking updates, LAN is back, and the final playlist for the MCC has been announced in this dev update number five. Want to know more details? Stay tuned throughout the video. But how's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another gameplay commentary. Today we're going to be talking about the dev update number five for the MCC, uh, that which actually just has been updated right now. So you can actually go and play the newest version of the MCC right now if you're an insider program. If you're on flight one and two, you can play this right now. By the way, I just want to say if you enjoy these news information videos, please make sure to tap that like button as it greatly helps out the channel and helps spread the word of the MCC update and all the good good stuff coming in for you guys in this video so let's get right into it so as i said earlier the mcc insider build has now been updated to the entirety of the mcc minus odst uh which started out you know the week of july 2nd which is apparently going to be what's going to be called phase one which will start uh, with early access for flight number three only a few people have access to this right now as only people from flight one and two actually can play this at the moment though later on they're gonna be looking to expand it to everybody for when flight three is officially uh, out for everyone to play uh, it hasn't been dated yet when that will come out but you can play early access versions of this right now if you're already an insider but it looks like now uh 343 is gonna be taking the flight examples or flight tests for the mcc and move that to more of a test realm a public test server if you will so 343 can implement minor changes continually rather than big blocks like they have been doing with these flights which i think is a much better way to go about doing this and all Ultimately, I think it will also help boost the population of this insider program build so more people be playing it. So if you want to play MCC multiplayer, you'll probably be playing insider program. As you can see on this image right here on the screen, showing that phase one, the week of July 2nd, would be for the flight one and two participants, and they'll move over to phase two, which would be for all of the MCC insiders. Uh, that date has been yet to be announced, as you can see right there. And then after that's completed for tests, flight number three, well, 343 will move over to more of a test realm for all insiders. And uh, just kind of, you can see the, uh, for phase three of uh, the test realm, we'll actually go to the retail update number one, which I'm guessing will be coming out this fall because that's when MCC is uh, dated to come out to Game Pass, as I mentioned in the previous video. So yes, the uh, update will come out this fall. Now 343 is also asking for people to kind of focus more on other aspects of the MCC to test it out, say as a camp, such as like the campaign, co-op, custom games, forge, and theater mode. Now, even though you can play it at any time right now, there are specific dates that are gonna be kind of help to promote this insider program to kind of boost populations. And right here are the dates. We have Friday, July 6th from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. as well as 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. You have Saturday, same time, and you have Sunday, which is gonna be the same time for the uh, afternoon shift, but then you have the uh, 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. for the afternoon shift. And then the two game modes are gonna be kind of boosted up for promotion for this are gonna be uh, Halo 2 Classic Team Arena, as well as Halo 3 Action Sack, which Halo 3 Action Sack last time did have Team Slayer, so you'll probably have Team Slayer for both playlists all about that also take note that LAN is back yeah you can actually play local area network stuff with the mcc though for this insider program you do have to be connected to the internet but that's just so it could work uh, though they say that uh, in the future the game will be fully LAN supported you will not need an internet connection to actually play LAN. now for a lot of people they experience a lot of like say dodging and they experience a lot of lopsided matches a lot of pub stomping happening in this insider program and it's just because you know they removed the skill based matchmaking so then uh, you know just because the population was so small they need to have it so then have reasonable matchmaking times they need to remove it completely well in this one since they're gonna be open it up to everybody they figured they can implement a little bit of skill based matchmaking so what they're going to be doing is a strict 10 level maximum difference for matchmaking so let's say if you're a level 20 the lowest player you'll get matched against is a level 10 and the highest player you'll be matched against is a level 30. So the yes it is still a bit of a wide skill gap but again this is still a small population of people playing this so i can understand implementing that so hopefully you get much better more fair matches there uh, they also say that players will remain 
anonymous throughout the matchmaking process to discourage dodging, which apparently is a really big issue for high level players when it comes to playing the MCC. I've seen a few Tommy Cost videos talk about this, pretty much in every video he's posted about it, which is obviously a huge issue, and that's probably why you don't see like names and ranks anymore in matchmaking for Halo games. In the Waypoint update, they do mention a bit of a wish list addition that they're looking to implement into it, which is actually one of the things they mentioned is uh, loading into uh, match made games where a display server status when loading such as like ping times which is going to be really nice to know for your information because we right now you go i think i have a bad connection or i, I think i feels like a good connection at least like it looks like what they're going to try to do is give you some information on what your ping is and so then you can get kind of determine how to play off of that because obviously if you have a really strong connection you can play a lot more aggressive where say if you have a 90 plus ping time then you might want to play a little more passive because your connection is not going to be as great. So it's really important information to know, especially when doing matchmaking. Some random changes have also be, have been implemented into the MCC, such as various Halo 3 Forge fixes. Uh, Halo 2's FOV has actually been improved, so then also uh, split screen players will also experience that as well apparently. Uh, Halo 2 melee cancel has been added into the game, so then basically you mean if you go for the melee lunge, but then you cancel so you don't do any damage, that's been implemented into the game. And also uh, Halo 1 and Halo 2 loading issues for the campaign have been addressed as well. And lastly, what I'm sure you guys are all excited for is what are the playlists going to be for the MCC when I get a chance to play this? Well. They finalized the list, so here you go. You can see for the core playlist, they're gonna have Halo 1, Team Doubles, Halo Classic, or Team Arena, and then Team Hardcore. And then you have Team uh, Halo 2 uh, Anniversary, which is gonna be just Team Arena. And you have Halo 3, Team Arena, Halo 3, uh, Team Hardcore, and Halo 3, Team Doubles. For the social game modes, they're gonna be quick, there's gonna be Quick Play Slayer, which Slayer offerings across all four titles which is going to be very important i feel you gotta have you gotta give players the least opportunity to kind of at least warm up or play some kind of more social experience uh, you got cross play big team battle collection of big team battle offerings on halo 1 2 uh, and also 4 as well and then you also have a uh, halo 3 dedicated big team battle and then for rotational playlists you have action sack slash action sack slash infection say that three times fast and then you also have free for all for this time it's going to start out as halo 3 which i think having the cross play big team battle is gonna be really great and also having halo 3 dedicated big team battle is gonna be nice though i honestly would rather see that be a rotational playlist so then you don't have two big team battle kind of communities fighting against each other for population because it's already gonna be a very low population for mcc to begin with and then on top of that, having to split in that community up, I don't know if that's really the best move, but you know, I would much rather actually just see, you know, big team battle across all the game modes, but you know, or what can you do, I guess. But now you're probably wondering, oh my god, what about my favorite game mode? What about my swap, my snipes, you know, and all this awesome stuff that I usually enjoy? Well, those actually game modes are going to be coming back, but as more as rotational playlists, and uh, depending on popularity of those playlists when they're out will determine whether or not they keep rotating them in more and actually make them a permanent playlist. So, rotational playlists will be Team SWAT, Team Snipers, Team Doubles, Team Objective, MCC Special Event Based Playlist, so I'm guessing probably like Griff Ball or something like that, uh, Community Test Playlist, uh, built entirely from community created content, so maybe like Fat Kid or something like that, I'm sure. And also other ones that were you know, taking while well, implementing community feedback. Personally, I think that 343 nailed the playlist, the core playlist at least for uh, the MCC. I think all, all those ranks are like pretty much the true essential uh, ranks that you need to do for. Uh, you know, for a good ranked experience. I think the social is also pretty good as well. I'm kind of curious about the big team battle split right there. I think that you, splitting up the big team battle community might be a little bit difficult for matchmaking, but we'll see how it goes. And they did mention for free for all that, it's gonna be starting out with Halo 3, but it's gonna be kind of, you know, rotating throughout different games as well. So it'll be a Halo 2 free for all for like, maybe like that next two weeks or something like that. Then next two weeks would be maybe Halo 4. <laughs> So let me know what you guys think about this update me. I am personally really excited about this update now that we can play all of the MCC right now once uh, you know it's released to everybody. 
and uh, we'll definitely will be streaming this as well. So keep an eye on the Twitch channel. Uh, link to that is in the description down below if you guys want to check it out. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for the video. If you enjoyed it, let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of the video. What would you like to see in the MCC update? Are you gonna be able to play it? You know, let me know. I read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. And if you're new to the channel and want to stay up to date with any Halo content or streams or anything like that coming your way, make sure to tap subscribe with the bell notification. Let you know every time I upload anything awesome to the channel, which is gonna be every time let's be real but anyways guys thank you so much for watching greatly appreciate it i'll catch you all in the next video peace out